Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Okay, you see what we're going to be doing. We're going to be talking about Portia and Drew. And Portia mom, and we're still asking the question, where is Larry? Okay, from my understanding, Drew Sedora had tickets, or she wanted, um, what do you call it, Portia to come out with her daughter, and they go to the University Soul Circus that was here recently in, in Atlanta. And I'm like, okay, okay. Um, Portia don't have many friends or anything, but my concern was, why is that man touching on PJ? And where is Portia or her mother uh, giving out high fives? Have they had their COVID injections? You know, what what was that man hands at? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, Dennis, where are you? Where are you? Okay. And where the mask is, what I'm trying to figure out as well, because we still got a COVID alert out there. And of course, Portia just throwing caution to the wind and whatever. And she's trying to sing Whitney Houston's song. Uh, but she was lip syncing. Now, from my understanding, she did make a record. Uh, not an album, but a record called Flatline. And she wasn't really doing nothing in there. She wasn't really doing no singing at all. But, yeah, they were at the circus having a good old time. And uh, I'm just trying to figure out. Why did Portia let her little girl go up on the stage, okay, with them folks? And see, that's the second man giving her a high five. I mean, do we have some type of... And then, you know, she could have tripped on that thing. I'm like, Portia, couldn't you or her, your mother escorted her up there and then let her stay there? But y'all, you still be somewhere near that platform? Because them people don't care about your child. I mean, maybe they are covered for lawsuits or whatnot or liabilities or people having accidents uh, out of their control by being at the circus. I don't know when one take that chance. Not with my baby girl. Okay. So that's piss poor parenting, Portia. That's one on one, you know, especially with this COVID situation we got out here and still being prevalent. This, uh, the uh, studies are being shown that they're back on the rise again. And why you, where's her mask at? That's what I'm, I'm trying to figure out. Where is her mask, okay? I don't care if she got shots or whatnot, but knowing you, you probably ain't get her no shots for that. Because uh, she does go, like, she go to private school uh, portion or, or just a fluent, wealthy school. Which one is it, baby? Because I'm like... <sighs> I'm looking at everybody. I don't see not a nail mask on neither one of them. And a lot of people still haven't gotten this two shots. I mean, they got one maybe and just fell way to the wayside with the second one. But I'm like, girl, as precious as that little girl is, she needed to have had on a baby mask. I'm sorry. She would have been up there having fun and still breathing uh, and, and yelling or being excited. But she would have had that mask on. First and foremost. And then, where's the hand sanitizer stuff going on? Dennis, where you at? D did you see this, Dennis? Did your mama see it? Okay. Because we got questions. And Portia ain't giving out no answers. Okay. Just parading herself and her child out in public for everybody to see. Because that's what it was, a showcase. Cause I'm like, why Drew Silla? She, she told y'all to come with her up to the show. Why Drew Silla's daughter couldn't go up there? But I'm pretty sure Drew Sella had her daughter, or I call it Drew Sella, that's probably her name, Drew, okay? Drew had her up, didn't have her baby girl up there. So why, why, oh why, Portia, did you make it a, a, a point to have PJ up there? Okay, cause I know it was you. I know it was you trying to let people know who you are, where you are, and can you be shown and seen for the public? I mean, that was something for you and Simon to partake of. But it seemed like you were there with your mom. And I'm still trying to figure out where Larry at. Why is she hanging around you so tough? But I guess you couldn't leave her by herself because Simon. And I'm like, 
do Mama Diane have anything in her closet other than that same black outfit? Does she not have anything else that she could show? I'm like, could you not have had on some jeans and a better top? I'm like, what is you not? Portia, your mama is not in her 20s anymore. And I'm surprised her mama didn't tell her, where you going with that outfit? That's what she should have been asking. Where you going with that outfit? That's like an outfit that you wear when you're exercising or you're just lounging around the house. Why does she come? She got them fur, those fur slippers too. Where, 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 where are the designs coming now for what we wear when we outside? Because damn sure, I, every time I go out there, I'm seeing somebody with pajamas on. But I'm just getting kind of uh, confused. I'm like, maybe we could set you up with that um, that little man that we just saw. Because it seemed like that's where you got your eye at. Because I know you didn't have it on PJ. Because PJ will be right beside you. How did PJ get up on that stage? I do not know. How did Portia call herself getting up on a mic that definitely wasn't mic'd up? The mic was cut off and she was still trying to call herself being shown, being seen. I mean, she just wanted the spotlight. And then she want her daughter. She's going to pull her daughter into the spotlight too. And that's that's not right. That's not right. I mean, you can't tell PJ to go up to each and everybody, honey, because everybody ain't for PJ. You see what I'm saying? Especially not no men. That was just piss poor pick. Oh, that was pissed for a portion. I'm like, have you ever thought about all the stuff that kids go through that they don't even want to go through? I can't say it on uh, YouTube because they'll probably cite me or whatever. But you got to pick and choose who be around your child. And I'm sure your mama should have told you that. I'm pretty sure Gina will have a lot of words for you about how she you had her grandchild up there in that precarious type of situation where she could have fell and bumped her head or what not there where you gonna come running from the from the back because you trying to get your plate on with some man you probably been uh, flirting with since you've been there and your mama probably over there trying to flirt with some man too probably that man right there okay but he wasn't listening he wasn't he, he ain't got time for it. He ain't got time. He probably got a woman at home. But anyway, yes, those two gentlemen, they both gave her high fives. Like, did they even have sanitizer? Did they have some sanitizer spray going on? I don't think so. See, that's the second guy she high five. And then what you think kids going to do? They're going to take they when they ain't thinking about it, they're going to take their nose, their fingers up to their nose and try to wipe it. You know what I'm saying? That's just germs going inside her body. Like, Dennis, where you at? Where you at, Dennis? Where you at? Because ain't right. Portia had your child up there almost being in a precarious situation. All right? Well, made no damn sense. I mean, she always wanted to have the spotlight. I'm like, because she wasn't there. She wasn't there. She was just there to partake of the show. She wasn't supposed to be a part of the show. You see what I'm saying? She taking the shine away. I'm like, cool. Like I said, Juice Door child could have went up there. Or hell, why the both of them didn't go up there? But had you or Drew or Diane up there just in case anything happened. Just in case anything pop off. Maybe they touched the child too close to somewhere you didn't want them to touch. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't friendly. Everybody ain't friendly out there, Portia. You got to be close to your child when you got them out in the public. And then... You didn't have a mask on. Drew didn't have a mask on. Uh, <clears throat> let me see. Diane didn't have a mask on. This was just a maskless type of adventure y'all took part of. Which is crazy. Totally crazy. And then Drew going to sit down on the show be wearing a mask. I'm like, make it make sense, people. You're going to put yourself out there. Then you're going to put your child out there in harm's way as well. Boys. Is that what we doing now? Is that what we doing? Because the child could have sat in her seat with the rest of the kids and watching the animals go around. Watching people um, do the, what you call that, flip it in the air. Somebody getting shot of a cannon if that's what they still do. And your daughter could be sitting there looking at it and saying, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, you know, and, and jumping up in her seat. But I'm like, girl, girl, now the child probably be sick because she don't touch too many people's hands. They ain't wash their hands. Ain't no hand sanitizer going on at all. No mask being worn. 
I'm like, God, dog, Portia. You can't get it right every day of your life. You cannot get it right. Because your whole thing is being seen. You ain't thinking about safety. Because <clears throat> you're thinking about safety. <clears throat> you see how deep. And that was concrete. That's what it looked like to me. Or that hard ass plastic. Meaning she would have looked tripped. You see what I'm saying? If that looked like cement. Or some type of uh, uh, strong plastic. And she looked like she was damn scared to go up them stairs. But you had to push her. You had to let two men. Two. Not one, but two men escort your daughter up there on stage. And she looked like she was fearful. I ain't seen no smiling going on up there. I ain't seen nothing to the effect. So I'm like, you trying to traumatize, traumatize the child too? Oh, you be doing too much, boy. You be doing too much. It's all about safety when you have kids. Think for them before they get in a precarious situation and they don't have a way out but that's all i got for this video guys if y'all like it love it, gotta have more because you know i will give you more okay just ask a sister all right if have time we'll get it out as quick as we can if i don't it's gonna be some you know hold up here and there but yeah I, that's how i got my mouth open like i can't believe you let that little girl go up on that stage by herself escorted by two men that don't know her don't know her medical condition. She high-fiving, folks. And not even wearing a mask. I like poor parenting and poor grandma parenting. But that's all I got, y'all. Y'all get out of the comments and, and, and ask and, and tell me, did I read this shit wrong? Which y'all would have been like, no, nah, my child ain't going up there touching everybody. Or, yo, let the child be free. You know, let them have fun. This, that, and so Heck no, because when the child gets sick, I want to have each and every one of y'all taking turns with rocking her to sleep, feeding her, checking temps, making sure she got something to eat, putting her back to bed, all that stuff that comes when a little person gets sick. And you might even get sick after taking care of their behinds, because the only thing they want is to be close to you. They breathe it in your face, they sneeze it in your face, they cough it in your face. Where do you think the mother germs going to go to you? And then both of y'all going to be sitting up there sick. Only because the parent did not do her due diligence. And let that child stay in her arms with a mask. And she both, both of them stayed in their seats and watched the show from the seats. And not trying to be a part of the show. What was Simon at anyway? What was Simon? And why was your mama with you anyway? Don't she supposed to be over there watching her mama? Okay. And uh, where's Larry? Where's Larry? Because Larry can't be there. Larry cannot be there with Miss Diane anymore. But that's all I got for this video, guys. I will see you all on the next one. Peace.